Lines of a circle. Definition. A circle is the set of coplanar points equidistant from the center. So this outline right here, the blue one that you see, is the circle itself. A circle it's, is named by its center. So this is center C. The circle is called circle C or with the symbol circle C. The radius here is segment CD. The diameter is AB. And the uh, interior points are all those shaded uh, with the yellow. And then the exterior points are the pink ones. So by the definition, the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to a point on the circle. The diameter is the distance between two points that passes through the center of the circle. Interior of the circle is a set of points whose distance from the center is less than the radius. Exterior of a circle is the set of points on the plane whose distance from the center is greater than the radius. So once again, to reiterate, the yellow shading indicates the interior of your circle. The pink shading in indicates the exterior of your circle and the circle itself is this outline right here which is made up of infinite number of points that are equidistant to the given center. Tangents and secants. For your information, tangents and secants are lines. A tangent is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point, which is called the point of tangency. In this illustration right here, you can see that circle X is being um, intersected by line AC at point B, meaning that B is your point of tangency. So line AC is tangent to circle X at B. Once again, B is your point of tangency. AC Line segment AC, line segment AB, line segment BC are all called tangent segments. Ray BC and ray BA are called tangent rays. So what is secant? A secant is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. In this illustration, you can see that line ST intersects circle X at two different points, S and T, also on this line containing some of the interior points of the circle. When that happens, your line is a secant. So ST is secant to circle X and line segment ST is a chord. So what is a chord? A chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. More about tangents. Note, the radius of a circle and tangent are perpendicular at the point of tangency. In this illustration, you can see that circle X has uh, line 1 being its tangent at point A. And radius R, this uh, radius XA, is going to form a 90 degree angle with line 1. Because according to our note, this is the R. And the R and the tangent are always going to be perpendicular at the point of tangency. So the next one is um, common tangent. Common tangent is a line that is tangent to each of the two coplanar circles. As you can see in these two illustrations, you have two possible ways. They are two different common tangents. This one right here is called the common external tangent, and this one right here is called the common internal tangent. So once again, tangent is a line, so I want you to keep that in mind. So we're calling this one, this is our tangent right here. This line right here is called common external tangent. And why is that called common external tangent? A common, common external tangent is a line that do not intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. So I want you to take a look at these two circles. Let us call this circle X and this circle Y. So in this case, 
the segment xy is not being intersected by the by, we will call this line one we are um now having our focus here on line one and as you can see unlike this right here which it's crossing the um segment connecting the two centers of the circle this one does not so because this one does not this line one is called the common external tangent so now let's go to this one i will call this as m n okay and this will be called my line two so line two is gonna be called common internal tangent why is this called common internal tangent because it is a tangent or it is a line that intersects the segment joining the centers of circles M and N. Therefore, because that is the situation, line 2 is going to be called common internal tangent. So once again, common external, common internal. So now let's go to tangent circles. So what are tangent circles? Tangent circles are coplanar circles that are tangent to the same line at the same point of tangency or at the same point. So let's look at this. This is a situation where your circles are externally tangent to each other because the other circle is not found inside. They don't share a common interior points because that is happening. These two circles are externally tangent circles. Let's look at illustration number two. Notice that circle Q shares a um, set of points that are in the interior of circle P. Because that is happening, these two circles are called internally tangent circles. Now, what are internally tangent circles? They are coplanar circles that um, tangent to the same line at the same point and are sharing common interior points. So, once again, this illustration shows internally tangent circles and this shows externally tangent circles.